so I'm about to roll up in there real quick. And so from Sephora, y'all know this is my drink. This is my drink. Pissed off too, especially in a new car. Cause what's going on? <laughs> he got some goodies, y'all. wanted to give a huge shout out to today's sponsor Mount Tracks if I'm pronouncing that correctly they were nice enough to send me over their foot massager with the built-in heat capability it does come in four different colors as you can see on the screen I decided to get the black so it can fit my home aesthetic but it does come in white gray blue and it does have three different kneading and air compression settings Along with the heat function, you can choose either a 15 minute massage or a 30 minute massage time. These past few days, I've just been using a 15 minute massage right after I get home from work and it feels amazing. I am going to do the 30 minute massage and I just know that's going to feel great. It has a touch screen panel as you can see. It does have the time on there, the power button, and the kneading and compression settings. As always, read the directions on your warning manual because you do not want to mess anything up it does have a touch screen panel as well as the remote you can use so that you can stay relaxed while enjoying your massage this will be the perfect holiday gift especially with father's day around the corner if you are in healthcare like me standing on your feet for 12 hours is definitely draining so this will be an amazing addition to your home for you so don't forget to check down below all the links will be down in the description box below like i said this felt amazing 10 out of 10 definitely recommend and as always thank you so much for sponsoring this portion of the video Hey y'all, good morning. Today is Wednesday, May 29th. I am on my way to get my oil change. Welcome back to another weekly vlog. This week, three. We got a lot of stuff to do around the house, but I do work Friday and Saturday. Today is Wednesday, so today and tomorrow is my only off day. So I am trying to get a lot of stuff done today and tomorrow, but I will still have Friday morning and afternoon basically to do stuff if you're new here hey girl my name is Akira Janae don't forget to subscribe and join the family before you leave so as you can see if you watch my Sunday recent video I got my hair um, color corrected fixed done cut trimmed all of that good stuff so we're rocking the natural right now um, probably won't get anything done to my head until I go to Cali next month because I'm still trying to debate on if I want a um, sew-in or a or braids if i get a sew in i want it to be like curly hair like long curly hair so when cali and we're gonna go to the beach and stuff and if i do braids obviously i want those long but i want knotless um i don't know if it's like knotless bohemian knotless something i'm gonna have to look back at the girl page but just knotless braids with the added like hair in it to kind of make it look a little bit more full and kind of mimic like a sew in if you will so that's kind of what i'm looking into doing but my appointment is at 11 o'clock it's 11 one right now so I'm about to roll up in there real quick and take off my dash and then Bay is gonna come pick me up and we're gonna go to lunch what it means to you get hurt it all I wish you had the time with you my one is he loves his little job <laughs> like take it Dirty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he got some goodies, y'all. He got a lot of um. He got a lot of these. He got a little splash detailing thing. Okay. 
Obviously, waiting on his car now to be well, truck. I already know, I already know. <laughs> truck, to, I left my tripod, but we waiting on his truck to be detailed. Um, got one more car in front of his, and then his truck will be next. This is so cool. I can't wait to bring my car. I was gonna bring it last week, but y'all know it was raining and stuff, so he the baby to the punch. But <laughs> I'll come back with my car, have it detailed and washed and cleaned and everything. I hope y'all can see me good because in the sunlight the camera looks really dark but we at the promenade I forgot my tripod so I gotta hold my camera but we're about to go to Yaya's right now and eat hopefully they're still doing lunch right now <laughs> this was not planned is why he's dressed like that but we're gonna go ahead and sit outside <laughs> I said this wasn't planned is why you in shorts I yeah, said, just, I no, that's what you said. I already feel like I'm with the dress. <laughs> you fresh. We're going to Yaya's. <laughs> he told me to flip a coin to see which drink I want. So, heads, strawberry mash, tails. <laughs> tails is going to be a uh, blueberry lemon drop. Flip a coin. I was gonna toss it up. Oh my god, that didn't even slip. Yes, it did. Heads, strawberry mash. Come in, laying on the ground. Y'all not flipping. Okay, I got on nails, y'all. Not too much. You're doing way over there. Okay, anyways, I'm getting strawberry mash. And we're outside eating, obviously, you guys can see. unboxing real quick for y'all um here kind of messed up i'm gonna try to probably flexi ride it today i'm gonna try to uh flexi ride it today and see how i like it i just don't like sleeping with flexi rods but since she put like hairspray and stuff in it i think maybe a flexi rod would be better because the pin curls it just kind of made it like stick to my hair i don't know but we're about to unbox this. I'm about to call my friend back real quick and then I'll come back. Let's go ahead and open up this first box. We got a lot of boxes to get into. This is my PFB, Vanish PFB. Um, I'm going to see if it works out for me. I know a lot of girlies. I've been seeing this for a long time. Basically, it helps with um, skin brightening. So, like, discoloration, ingrown hairs. Use it for after you wax and wait. Rax. Oh, my gosh. Use it after waxing and, you know, shaving. 
and it's a cool blue roll on and it's for men and women i've had this in my freaking cart wish list what have you for probably like two years now at this point um i just want to see if it works for me and i had returned you know all of those dresses if you guys watched my last vlog or the vlog before last i don't know what order this is in but um whenever i was going to the wedding i returned all those dresses that i did not um need or wear or even try on and that gave me like 125 dollars to just spend on amazon girl math that means that's free money <laughs> so i used my free 125 dollars to buy most of this stuff as well so yeah this is how it looks um if you guys use this tell me down below if it actually works for you it's just the blue roll-on and i'm using it more so for i do get brazilian waxes um i'm not sure if you use this on your face or not i'm gonna have to check it out because someone said yeah it says use on face neck underarms legs and bikini area i have a few dark spots on my face but i did just go to sephora and lush and i picked up some stuff for that so we'll see but for right now i'm just planning to use this on my um like bikini area and i'll keep y'all updated and see if that works out. i've been waiting to open all of this with y'all so that you can see what i got all right this is just a black mat um one of those cushion mats it's the happy trends all of this stuff will be linked down in my amazon storefront it's just the mat to go in the kitchen when i'm standing either by the stove or washing dishes i'll probably move it out depending on what i'm doing but if i'm cooking i'll have it by the stove if i'm washing dishes i'll keep it by the sink like i was just washing dishes a while ago and i'm mad i didn't have this because especially when i'm cooking girl standing in one spot for a long time even though i do wear house shoes in the house and most of my house shoes do have a good little cushion on them but even then my feet are still aching and my legs are starting to hurt with me just standing in one spot i feel like that definitely has something to do with me working those long tour hour shifts and being on my feet for so long but it comes in gray chocolate black khaki and blue this is the brand that i got and like i said it's really just a black mat and i'm gonna put this in my kitchen feels really nice as well i'm gonna go ahead and unravel it so it can stay unraveled so by the time i put it down it'll be good to go all right next thing what is this i got this in a color white oh this is an awful why can i not talk today to y'all this is a white office label printer it's portable y'all know i got my own business and stuff so when i need to print things out like need really really small labels i was like dang i need a label printer or a label maker um this was advertised for that reason and it was also advertised as printing out labels to put on like storage bins just any type of little like storage thing um people use it in their pantry so it just depends on what you need to use it for but um i decided to get white i think it comes in white black and pink it's really small and compact so that's why i opted to get this one instead of this other one that i had in my cart um yeah this is how it looks it looks really cute i can't wait to try this out i'm not sure if you have to like charge this up or anything okay yeah it has some paper in here um it doesn't come with any like backup so i guess i would have to like order some more or buy some more but i'm gonna try this out later because i don't want to spend my time right now trying to figure out how the heck this works but i do have a portable label why can i not say that a portable label printer oh my gosh i just put my invisible line back in i haven't not gonna lie I haven't worn in probably like two days so right now with it being in it's like my tongue and everything is trying to get adjusted to them in my mouth and it i cannot pronounce anything right now <laughs> other thing i got is three 96 inch sheer black curtains i'm gonna put these in my living room we're gonna be judging up my living room a little bit hopefully these are long enough um i opted to get black curtains and i want it sheer specifically because in my living room um, i want it to still be very light flowy and airy um as well as the curtains that i have in there right now are white and i feel like i need to bring back 
the black into my apartment like obviously i don't have a black couch anymore but i still have um because i don't know i was going to get a black pillow to put on the couch but y'all know that picture that i got in my living room um that picture has black white and brown in it and i'm kind of missing the black element in my living room now since i got rid of my black couch you know so i do want to bring in a little bit more black so i got these sheer curtains i got a pack of three probably should have got four um i didn't get just two because i didn't know if it'll be able to like you know cover both of my um window my both my blinds so i got three just in case but we'll put this up i think 96 inches should be um long enough to go floor to ceiling my other curtains i think are like 102 and those have a little bit like space to them so hopefully these are long enough but i got a pack of three of these we're about to put those up soon then i got um towel hooks i'm going to use these in my kitchen specifically how many does it come with i'm not sure how many it comes with but i specifically got this to use in my kitchen because i hate just throwing my towels in the freaking cabinet um like my um microfiber cloth towels those that i like to clean with i want them hanging on my door since i'm not moving um because the place that I was looking to move to, like I was explaining in my life update, um, it had about 200 more square footage for like the price of what I'm paying now. So like, I think some of y'all were kind of getting, I don't know if y'all was getting the wrong idea or what, because um, I got a few like comments and messages and stuff, but I'm not moving. I said that in the video. Um, it's just, and, and I wasn't specifically moving because of my I was moving because of my price increase on the rent, but not because like I don't want to pay it, if that makes sense. Like someone has said, don't move because I'm comfortable here or whatever like that. Like that, like that's not like the whole reason for the move was literally because I could get more for my money. And at this new place, I definitely would have been comfortable as well. Like I absolutely fell in love with that apartment. And what a lot of you guys don't know, I don't know if I told y'all this or not, but this apartment that i'm in now was not originally the apartment that i was supposed to be in um i applied for a different apartment before this one and they denied me because they didn't accept my like youtube income and all of that so they denied me and this that's how i ended up here so yeah i you know created it how you know i envisioned it and everything like that but this is not the apartment that i initially wanted basically I don't want to say I settled for this apartment because the apartment is still nice, but I basically settled. So this apartment that I just found, it was really, it's literally like low key. I don't even know what's over there. It's basically the exact same apartment as what I basically applied for at the last place because the last place was like almost 1200 square feet. And this new place is dang near almost, you know, 1200 square footage. So I wanted a bigger apartment. Yeah, I got a two bedroom here, but the rooms are not big, if that makes sense. And my living room is tiny and my kitchen is still small. I literally have two cabinets to use for my pots and pans. So I wish I would have said that in a life update because it's like, <laughs> you know, you can't really just think of everything that you're trying to, you know, talk about. But that was the reason for the move because obviously like this was not my dream apartment you know if that makes sense but like don't get me wrong like i definitely pray to god that i would be accepted here because at the time there was nowhere else that i would have liked to move if that makes sense so i definitely pray for the apartment you know i got it so i'm just gonna leave in my prayer and take my blessing but that was the reason of me even thinking about you know maybe moving is because of that extra space and all of the other apartment amenities like i said but anyways getting off topic I got some towel hooks. I'm gonna put my microfiber cloths on these. These just stick on to the back of your cabinet, whatever you wanna do. And then you just stick the towel on right there. So I got a pack of four, it comes with four. So I'm gonna probably use two in my kitchen and then I may put one in each of my bathrooms. <laughs> yes, I see a lot of the TikTok girlies always using these. So if you have not seen anybody use these on TikTok, it comes with a lot and this is only like $3. It's a lot of mini little bitty, um, box openers so literally it's just orange purple like just a whole bunch of colors and you know for boxes so it literally comes with orange purple pink white another bl like blue and green so it comes with a lot for like three dollars i got these because every time i'm trying to open up a package or something and i go to look for this box cutter like this is my box cutter that i use for my business because it's like really really heavy duty this is linked to my amazon storefront as well but 
you know those times where you just need a quick little like box opener for something like it may not even be a box just something that you know you can't open so i decided to get these little bitty cloud packages of box cutters so i'm going to keep like two in my room here in my office and then put you know just put them around the house so that i can be able to just access them wherever i want to open up a box all so. right the next one i'm going to open is this one it says heavy on it i didn't order no shoe wrap <laughs> I don't think. What is this? Okay, yeah. Oh. These are glass container, glass meal prep containers. Um, I do have some glass containers. I guess you can call them meal prep containers, but they don't have any um, compartment dividers. And y'all know when I cook, I like to cook a protein and I have like two sides. Um, so I needed something that was glass. I'm trying to get away from plastic as well. And my other meal prep containers that are like made out of like recyclable stuff or whatever, they're really huge. So when I try to take them in my lunchbox, they don't necessarily fit completely. So I just decided to just get glass containers because glass is better than plastic anyway. And then I wanted the ones that got three compartments. So I'm gonna check these out, make sure none of these are broken, comes packaged really, really nicely. And then like I said, I have like, let's say my chicken right here. And then I have my collard greens right here and like some macaroni or something right here. So it's a pretty good size. Um, sometimes my eyes are bigger than my stomach. And my last set of meal prep containers that I had got from Target, those, like I said, are a bit larger. So I tend to like stack the food in those like to the rim. Um, and sometimes, most of the time I do finish because, you know, I am trying to basically bulk up again. Um, but I do want something a little bit more meal size proportion. And, you know, this way I can just really have everything all in one piece and measure everything out perfectly. Okay, let's get into this other box up in here because it's a like shoe rack. Oh, I did order a shoe rack. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, this is heavy. Shoe rack, and I was thinking like closet shoe rack, but it's definitely not that. This is a shoe rack that we're gonna put together um, in a little bit. I needed a new shoe rack. I gave my boyfriend my other one, so I can't show you guys. But basically, this is a five-tier shoe rack, and the one that I previously had was only a three-tier. And when he come over, his shoes are obviously big because he he wears a size 13, I believe. And my shoes, I usually keep two pair of my work shoes up there, sandals. You know, I, it's a lot of shoes up there. So for only, it's a three-tier shoe rack, but I only put shoes on the first two because the top shoe rack is kind of like a, um, like a, uh, what is it it's kind of like a wood surface at the top so i always put my purse up there my backpack you know stuff like that on the top of the top rack so really i only have four racks to put shoes on whereas the other rack only had three so that's why i got this one and we'll put this together when we put up the curtains and stuff this right here is the shoe rack is a decor piece uh pray it is in one piece <laughs> a lot of y'all have been asking me about what i'm gonna put in my dining room area or telling me i should put like a canvas or you know something like that for a while now and i had told y'all that i've been eyeing something on amazon for a long time it's been in my car and my wish list and everything and i decided akira just go ahead and buy it because it had went up to $136, but they'll randomly have it on sale for like $89. So I'm like, you know what? It's on sale and I got my free money. <laughs> so I might as well go ahead and buy it while it's on sale. Basically, I told y'all that I did not want a, just like a blank canvas up on the wall. Um, I do have one in my living room, but I know I basically wanted like true real art pieces, like something that pops off the wall, if you will, like basically this um i definitely want you know something that like stands out in the room so this is that i got it in silver it does come in like gold like a gold bronzy come uh gold bronze color
So I'ma send the Uber to your place. It's my secret safe. Okay, note to self, always get up to a hundred inches in length <laughs> because yeah, it's not long enough. So 96 stops obviously right there. Um is this gonna bother me or is this not gonna bother me? I kinda want true floor to ceiling. Like I want it to hit the floor. So I'm liking the black. Um, I think for a throw blanket, this was in my beauty room, so I'm not going to keep that in here. But I think I want a black throw blanket, and then that'll be fine. And then I'll probably go ahead and add black pillows to the couch as well. Um, I'll probably add some about the same. I'll probably get the same pillowcase, but in black. And then I think that'll actually completely tie this room together because yeah i don't know I, I definitely like the black sheer in here that's cute um it's just i really want those to go all the way down to the floor and i guess i read wrong i didn't know these were basically a two-pack um i guess i just didn't pay attention so i bought an extra pack don't need it um, so I'm just gonna keep it in the pack and return it. I'm about to get real pissed off. I put it on backwards. So this side is right, supposed to be C and E. This side is supposed to be, basically I flipped it. So D is supposed to be on that side. I got C over here and D over here. So it's supposed to be C and C, D and D. So as you can see, it's lopsided. Like it's going down, sloping down. And it's supposed to be like this and it's sloping. <laughs> this was a perfect fit, height and length wise. I was able to fit three of his across with a size 13. In mine, I'm a eight, eight and a half. So I could definitely fit about four shoes across. And then I like that it has a lot of kind of space under it. So I was able to put like my flat lip flops, Puma slides and some more slides. And then at the top, like I said, I like to keep my work backpack. And then the two purses, I like to keep the toe bag here in case I need like a bigger bag and then like just a, quick little smaller everyday bag so okay y'all so like i said i'm about to put these up i don't have a drill my drill broke so this is what i'm going for i screenshotted it from the reviews on amazon so basically i'm about to try to mimic what this girl did you can configure it how you want but i specifically like the way she did this one so like i said i don't have a drill so i'm gonna have to like hand drill everything so I'm going to try to pinpoint where I want everything with a little piece of tape and then just screw the screw in and then hang this little decor piece on the uh, screw. And I have on gloves because these, the edges are kind of sharp as well as like the back. It feels like real dusty, like it's been maybe like sitting in a warehouse or something. So that's why I decided just to put on some gloves. But I'm going to try to pinpoint where I want this and try to mimic that one. So obviously... <coughs> This one is gonna have to be, oh, I'm getting, oh, I got on gloves now. So before I had on gloves, I got fingerprints on it. So I'm glad I did decide to put on gloves. Use these nails. I literally have three drills and I have no charger for two of them. And then my big one, literally the charger broke. So I have to hand drill everything. these 
small ones, I'm gonna use just nails and then I'm gonna put those in because these are pretty light um, and these are like long extended nails and then I can really press this all the way in. For So this has no instructions. Um, I think I remember seeing that <laughs> on the thing. You got desire. And I'm not alive. You hand me down on my knees every time to talk inside. I'm in that eight and one of the two stiff prior. I try to be all your long to all pick up you a drive. I had to stand too close to the city, you ain't gonna be vulnerable living this life. I still move your way from this before I cock you all this ice. You wanna be my number one, you're not hanging like the main thing. I let you play my number two. You barely made a second change. Push you somewhere where no one can find you. Passion on the sticks with nothing around you. Katie, Texas, Dallas, Texas, you know a different environment. Self-control is never being thing. Don't think it up. There's a ring with a dog. Where I'm from, they serve it so the thing. Okay, Bay voted on this setup. Um, I'm liking it. I think I want to keep the little fire thingy over here. I feel like it's a vibe, especially the white on the black. I think that looks really, really nice. Um, I decided to keep this over here instead of the white one, I think. And then the picture of me and my sisters. And then I do need to refill that little diffuser thingy. But yeah, I'm liking it. It's a vibe, okay? Um, it's 825. I'm going to call this my stopping point today because I am actually really, really, really tired. Um, I've been up since like nine o'clock. I absolutely love this. I'll give y'all a better look and stuff tomorrow when I like clean up and stuff. But my apartment is actually finally coming together and it is finally feeling like my dream apartment. Um, like I said earlier, um, this isn't the apartment that I originally wanted to even move in. There's like a different complex. Um, this is kind of like my last option or whatever, but I'm trying to make it, you know, my space, my home and put my own flair to it and really make it, you know, a vibe. So I'm loving it. Like I said, I'll show y'all better tomorrow, but I'm liking the black curtains. Now that the sun has went down, I feel like you guys will be able to kind of really, you know, see it a little bit better as well as i'm just going to go ahead and keep these curtains i sent this to my cousin and she says since it is sheer curtains um it doesn't look bad with it not being all the way down to the ground and like i said i don't feel like taking it down and returning it so i'm just going to keep it i think it's cute um for now and like i said i may switch that blanket out for a black one and then i do want to add a black pillow to the couch and then we'll be good or i may just add a black pillow keep that blanket white and then just have those curtains since i got that little black cushion thingy that you can sit on right here in the corner as well um i do want to put some type of big vase right here as well as like some big long pompous um let me show you this picture real quick they had that big pompous can y'all see look at that and the vase and stuff so i want like a medium sized vase that'd be easy to find raw cj max home goods somewhere like that but i want big tall pompous and she told me that she got this from pier one if you guys can find um anything like that like online for me <laughs> let me know i'm gonna search online uh tonight as well to try to find it um they shut down our pier one i'm not sure if they like completely shut down or what i think they were going out of business if i'm not mistaken so i'm going to go online and try to find like some really really tall pompous but that's exactly the vibe that i'm going for and i want that dead smack in my living room because like i said i took my mirror out of here because it was just too crowded so i really just want 
like it's just empty space right there to me so to fill that empty space i definitely want like a tall vase and then that tall pump is right there so i'm gonna try to find some um i haven't seen anything like that in store and if i did see it in store it was like insanely high so i'll probably look on amazon like i do everything else and see if i can find something like really really tall and then i'll just go in store to try to find me a vase but yeah um it's 8 26 i'm gonna call it my stopping point now because like i said i am tired but i do need to edit and i really 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 want to get this video done today um it's my sunday reset vlog and it's a lot of footage i did not realize i recorded that much footage of course it's gonna be broke broken down because most of that is me cleaning so it's just gonna be i really don't want the cleaning portion to be more than like maybe six seven minutes um so yeah and then i do have a sponsorship and stuff in there whatever by now you guys have seen it um but yeah i really need to start editing that because tomorrow is my last off day and i want to be able to send off this video and then i kind of want to just relax a little bit tomorrow but i want to record a few things for my business like just a few tiktoks in there since i got that room spick and span um and then i'm not even gonna lie and be like i'm gonna try to edit some tiktoks and stuff i have a lot to edit i was editing a few on my on our way to texas for that wedding um but then I stopped and just, you know, just chillaxed and me and Bae was talking. But yeah, maybe next week I'll try to dedicate more time to filming and editing reels and TikToks because I do want to start posting in June um, because I just have so much content. And especially now that I'm making my apartment like exactly how I want it, especially like that, like that's a vibe. I know that it'll do really, really good on TikTok and stuff because I save stuff like that all the time, like just regular home stuff. And then I was looking at this random reel came up and something that I was gonna do is literally a girl, she just in her kitchen and just literally, she ain't even cooking or nothing, she just in her kitchen. And it was like um, POV living alone. And they got like 100K views or like 50K views. That's why I'm like, yeah, see, I'm about to just get on my content and like, you know, record all the stuff that I wanna record. So next week I am gonna focus on short form content this week i do want to get the bulk of my youtube stuff out the way and really plan the days that i want to record videos especially because oh this is my song especially because if i'm going to take them my car next week they said they're going to have my car for three days so i'm going to have no choice but to be in this house for three days you know unless you know me and Bay do something or whatever so his off days are wednesday yeah, so next week, he is going to be off Wednesday and Thursday. I kind of want to take my car to them, like, Wednesday afternoon. So then, like, maybe, like, noon at 12, so I can, like, go run my errands that morning. And then they're going to have my car for three days. So if they count, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So I'm not looking to get my car back until, like, Friday, Saturday. So I definitely need to have everything that I need here, you know, for the time being so that i can just i mean i have no choice you know but to sit here and record and stuff can't go nowhere so yeah let me pause my song this is my song oh i'm tired too girl <sighs> yeah i did obviously deep clear this stuff but my apartment is kind of i just got stuff everywhere um i still need to mop so i'm gonna straighten up a little bit okay so we're gonna start with lush because i literally only got one item from there so i haven't tried too many items from lush but i do know they have some really really good products there so i initially went in for this um they call it repeat foot balm for toenails dry heels cracked areas apply rub repeat as often as needed i think i saw, saw me pick this up but it smells amazing and then i like how it says made by and then it shows you it was made by garrick and yeah i just think that's cute like it shows all the ingredients that's in it, it shows exactly who like basically made it and yeah this is how it looks on the inside i'm definitely using this tonight i absolutely love this stuff um i started using this i think i found out about this i just randomly went up in there maybe like 2022 2021 i've been using it for a while but i literally never went back into lush until now like i haven't been in lush in months and then they gave me a couple samples this is the lush it says sp something moisturizer i don't know it's something and literally girl when i open this i'm like oh i got me a good little sample girl what is this 
they know they could have filled this little bitty tube at. Like, come on now. But it's moisturizer. I'm going to actually go to the website and see exactly, like, what it looks like and stuff. Because if it's, I wonder, do you, like, use it for your face? Can you just use it for your body? Like, you know, we'll see. I might just go ahead and use it on my face. And then this one is Rainbow Bubble Bar. It says, crumble under water. Crumble under running warm water to create lots of bubbles. Ooh. Mmm, it smells good. It's like summertime. Mmm, that smells so good. Look how pretty that is. Mmm, yeah. My hygiene, we're gonna go hygiene shopping and then I'm probably gonna do like a little, you know, the like Sunday reset type of thing. Let me switch out my battery and then I'll come back and show y'all what I got from Sephora. All right, now getting into my Sephora haul. I have not been to Sephora in a minute. I need makeup and everything like for my trip next month to Cali, I literally need more foundation, I need concealer, I need mascara, I need everything. So we gotta go buy a lot of stuff. Um, first thing I got, I've been wanting this for so long. This has been in my cart wish list, what have you, forever. Like I got screenshots of this and everything from like months ago. So this is the, obviously you guys should know, the Faded, it's the Brightening and Clearing brightening and clearing serum for uneven skin tones so yeah i'm super excited um this first off my total was like a hundred and some dollars i got three items three so i'm super excited i hope this actually works for me um i know people have mixed reviews about it i see a lot of people that says it's, it i see a lot of people that says it works and then there is that you know five ten percent of people that literally says it doesn't work for them everybody's skin type is different so i mean what may not work for you may work for me what don't work for me may work for you so the reason why i got this is because i do have uneven skin time that's going to zoom down in real quick lord jesus um like usually when i pop a pimple or not even just pop it just kind of mess with it it obviously leaves a spot so i have a few dark spots on my face and for the most part my skin is pretty even but i do want to get rid of those like dark spots so i am super excited to see if this works for me uh, we're just going to use this as a before so i just want all these spots and everything gone and so i'm back out back up girl yeah so i'm super excited to try this out i'm definitely about to start using all of this stuff tonight so basically by the end of the month i'm going to see sorry my bra keep messing with me <laughs> by the end of the month i'm going to see if i see any difference since it is the 29th this will kind of make me since it is the 29th this is kind of going to be like a reminder for me that i started it you know at the end of may early june so kind of like a little time stamp for me so i'm super excited to see if this actually works and then i can also come back to this video and compare so next thing i got is this summer fridays lip butter bomb i got it in vanilla y'all know i'm a vanilla girl super excited definitely know y'all should have y'all should definitely know about this by now um i was trying to figure out what the hype was because you know i'm like it's just lip gloss like Maybe it's just a lip balm. I definitely love it. Um, I feel like it's a pretty big lip gloss now. Should it be $24? I would pay a good $12. Like, I feel like it should be like, okay, $15. But $24 for a lip gloss is kind of much, not gonna lie. Um, but it is really, really nice. I already got some lip gloss on, but you know, why not? It's a definitely it's definitely a really really good formula and it feels good like it's not too thick it's not too thin it's not sticky anything like that um but like i said it definitely should be like maybe 12 15 dollars not gonna lie um and i didn't know that it comes with a little sample this is the this is the summer fridays jet lag mask okay so yeah just a little mask i didn't know they put this in the little box so i think that was cute um next thing i got girl i have been waiting and wanting to get my hands on this for so long like i went in there she showed me where it's at they had a few different 
scents you can choose from i love that it's glass it's just uh just giving luxury okay i cannot wait my shower routine and like just taking a shower and all of that that is how i basically romanticize like my life and basically just self-care like that is the ultimate self-care for me just taking a good long shower and like just using all of my products getting real clean it, it just relaxes me so mm, it smells so good i got um i think i got tangerine if i'm not mistaken what is what do they call it topless tangerine is what i got um i liked this one and it was one more that i liked um i honestly didn't like the vanilla one like it wasn't doing it for me but this one smells the absolute best to me so i'm super excited to use this what's the ounces on this because baby they ain't about to throw this away it's six ounces so i'm probably gonna have to scoop some into a little tube or something for when i go to cali because i definitely need this scent right here so that is definitely my favorite purchase this is the first thing that i picked up when i went in there because baby i've had this screenshotted since uh well i had it screenshot it for a while but the most recent one has been like since march and i'm like i got to get this so i've been waiting since march to freaking get that so i used some sephora points and then i got this dark spot serum um don't really know how to pronounce this name um never really even heard of them but the lady at the front was like oh yes good choice i love that and i'm like oh you do good um definitely need some dark spot serum um, obviously I got this as well, but I do have under eye, like dark under eyes and like bags and stuff. So I am looking to use that for under my eye. I don't know if y'all can pick it up now because I do got, yeah, you can see. So it's like, I literally always kind of just look tired, worn out when like I can literally be just waking up and I feel really rejuvenated and my eyes are still, you know, like this. So I do want to use this as well under my eyes as well um i was going to get the summer fridays um eye cream so i may go back and try that but i do want to try out these products first because i am going to be putting this you know under my eyes as well not too close but you know where the dark circles are and all of that and with these two products i'm going to give it about a month before i go and buy the summer fridays like under eye cream just to see you know what's working because you got to give things at least like two to three weeks to figure out you know if it's working for you or not so super excited to try my new items period um i just can't wait so that is all that i'm gonna be doing today like i said i'm about to just edit and then i'm probably gonna turn on mckenna walker or um chelsea janae or i will say i love destiny but hers i'll be trying to like watch as well like don't get me wrong i'll be watching mckenna walkers and chelsea's as well but they just normally throughout the vlogs they just do a lot of talking which isn't bad that's just what they do so it's like i can literally you know work on my editing while listening to them and i don't just gotta like have my eyes glued to the screen basically i feel like i'm like that too sometimes um if i'm not like putting together you know doing things like that but most times if i'm just talking i feel like you can just you know do whatever you want without just looking at me so that's why i like putting them on and plus their vlogs are really long like mine so if, especially mckenna walker's hers is like two three hours so i can just let that play and she's usually just sitting there talking showing some, you know so that's why i like to put the them on now everybody else i really gotta sit and watch you know watch what they doing but yeah i'm gonna stop talking because i feel like i've been talking a lot i'm about to start editing straighten up a little bit i'm probably gonna edit first to just go ahead and get that out the way and then when my eyes start to hurt i do have those blue light blocking glasses that i got from that one collaboration they're really really good if you saw that collab with um those sleep masks and stuff i did it with my uh sunday night reset video those blocking light glasses are really really good my camera's about to shut off so i'm about to just start talking and i'll talk to y'all tomorrow because i got stuff to do girl hey y'all today's the next day it's thursday um may 20th 12 24 in the afternoon um just got done walking prince feeding him and about to cook me a burger for lunch i woke up at like my mom called me at like 10 something i got up at like 11. um i just went and got me a package this is actually a wig to review so i'm about to go ahead and do that right now let me put on some lotion so i'm glad my wig got here early um so i can go ahead and get it out the way um i did want to wake up maybe at like 
I wanted to really be up at 10 and already like editing and stuff. Um, but I'll just do that after this wig review. Wig reviews never really take me long. Um, I'm mad that I did get my hair done though. So I basically pin curled my hair up. That's kind of how I preserve my cur curls, either this or flexi rods. But I didn't feel like sleeping with flexi rods last night so i'm just going to go ahead and put like a wig cap over this since i did sleep on it it kind of mashed it down but i gotta really see what type of wig i got because i may have to do a middle part real quick and then just pull it down but we'll see um i just want to pop on though because i don't think i'm really going to be on the vlog today as much since i am going to be doing a wig review um, and I do want to get this video edited so I can send it to this company and then this other company this box is right here beside me They're asking about When is it going to be done? They already paid me though. So I may just plug this in to the video that y'all Watching now Because I mean that'd be easy and then if they don't like it Then I can just take it out and then be like, okay, I'll plug it into a different vlog So we'll see uh, I'll probably open this and put this in the beginning of the vlog y'all watching now by now But anyways, yeah that's what's going on um i'm starving um the only thing that i bought at aldi with my little grocery shopping haul or whatever um was like basically things that i need to eat for like dinner and lunch i didn't really buy anything for breakfast really i just bought meat and fruits and i don't really have anything else so because i had planned to go to sam's club and go ahead and cash out my little 45 dollar cart and that would have had some more stuff so i do need to pick up some um more groceries and stuff like that especially because i gotta go to work the next two days so i may run to the store later today i don't know we'll see or i may just stick it out and go ahead and cook my actual um like pork chops and my steak and all of that so yeah that's the update right now i'll check back in much later today like i said it's 12 27 um and i'll probably get back with y'all maybe like around four or five o'clock we'll see Hey y'all, it is Friday, May 31st. It's 1227 in the afternoon. I am currently at the at home store. Um, I think yesterday I was telling y'all that I wanted to find like some really, really tall pompous grass like that I saw at my, well at the salon that I just went to that colored my hair. Um, and it said they had some tall ones here for like $17 to come in a three pack. So I'm hoping they're about the same size as that one, if not the same size, like just about. The same size as that so i'm about to pull it up on my phone again and then see if they got like a most places show like the owl that stuff is on i'm gonna see because it said free in-store pickup as well and i put my hair in a little clip because i used flexi rods last night and it definitely worked better than a pin curling my hair down but i ran out of flexi rods so some of my hair like three pieces of my hair isn't curled so yeah i don't like that and i need to go we're going to go to burlington as well because i need some claw clips um and i want to find a vase if i do end up finding the pompous grass in here so it says ready today if ordered by 5 p.m um i don't know it don't say an owl or anything location id 54 15a i'm just gonna go in and ask them where's this at because i don't got time to be running around the store as well as i do gotta go to work today so i am trying to get back home finish up some youtube stuff and then just kind of relax before i go to work i work today and i work tomorrow I don't think we're compatible it's just not possible no we all kind of selfish baby please don't judge me please don't oh, i think i this is the one that I'm looking for. This one is 14, but this isn't tall. Like it's tall, but it's not tall. Maybe this one back here. That's about right, huh? Yep, that's it. do you think will look better I want this one because it's tall I feel like this will be an okay brown but then I like that this one is a little bit lighter but it's not as tall well I may just keep it simple and just have three because I was gonna buy 
I'm just gonna keep it simple. If I wanna add more, I'll add more. I may add some like this. That vase that I sent you, that's only $49. But I also wanna go, huh? That black one, yeah. But Burlington, I wanted to go there to look and see what they have to see if they got anything cheaper. But I remember the last time I went there, I think the vase that I was looking at was like $60. So this one will be $10 cheaper. And I think this is dang near bigger. So I think I should just go ahead and get that one. Just have a one-stop shop instead of driving across town to go to Burlington. And if they don't got it. Three more. <laughs> How are we doing today? I'm good. I got a name for the winner? Baker. So Baker? Yes. And what kind of good The eight count nugget meal with ketchup. And a cherry berry lemonade. No ice. No ice? Mm-hmm. Um, cherry berry lemonade. That was no ice, right? Mm-hmm. So update is still have no air. Um, like I said, it comes on and off. So I was hoping that it would pop back on. The longest that it's been out has been uh like four days. So it's been out well it came on and then it went back out when i picked my car up from my oil change so i'm burning the hell up i need to keep that little bitty fan in here just in case but i am taking my car next week i work monday and tuesday and i'm off wednesday my boyfriend is also off wednesday so i'm just going to take it on wednesday and then just have him come pick me up you know do whatever i got to do because i can't take it no more um this sunday i am off so i am going to restock on my groceries like basically buy everything that i need on sunday so i don't really gotta go nowhere these three days they're going to have my car um, this is very annoying. My car is, like I said, way too brand new to be having these type of problems. Especially with me going, you know, getting my car serviced and checked all the time. So, but you know, things happen. It's cool. But yeah, I'm hot. I'm at Chick-fil-A, obviously. Um, I did go to Target um, parking lot. I didn't get out or anything because I did not, I didn't even feel like going in there. Like, I'm on my cycle and TMI, but I was like... I was spotting like the first four to five days here and there and then like I feel like my period actually kind of started but now it kind of like went back to spotting so I don't know um tomorrow will be a full week that I've been spotting or you know whatever so I don't know but I've been having a cycle every month since March I believe if y'all are new here <clears throat> I have irregular periods and I used to go something drink <coughs> oh this dry I used to have a cycle every like three months um and now this year it's kind of going back to normal my nurse practitioner was like that's a good thing which I like but no I'm not gonna lie I did like not having one for three months because you know you ain't gotta worry about this but um yeah so I don't know I'm getting it every month now it's just sometimes it'd be really short sometimes it's like four days and then sometimes it's like a week or maybe even like almost two weeks that I'm just kind of spotting here and there so I'm just so tired I'm burning up and since I don't have no ear I'm on my cycle you know we already be having hot flashes so it just makes it so much more worse I cannot wait to get this drink I'm thirsty as hell this is gonna be my first time eating today it's 12 57 it didn't take me long to get this pompous and stuff and i'm glad i found that base for 49 dollars. like i said i was gonna go to burlington they're normally cheaper but the last time i went to burlington i remember seeing a base for like for like 50 or 60 dollars and it wasn't as big as this one so i just feel like i'm just gonna get it at the at-home store more bang for my buck if you will y'all know i'm about to bang for the buck <laughs> i'm burning up Yes. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. You too. <sighs> All right, we about to go home. Let me try to go ahead and pull up. I'm thirsty as hell. And I'm definitely not going out that way. Y'all know, this is my drink. This is my drink. Why are y'all driving so slow? I'll talk to y'all when I get back home. Oh, that's all I wanted to say. I was I went to the at home store, so I had um the pompous grass inside of the vase, right? And so it was two, it was all black men up in there working. I'm like, what y'all working up in here for? Y'all trying to find y'all a wife or something? Because y'all know how they be like, <laughs> women go to Home Depot or Lowe's to find a husband. <laughs> 
And why all the men working at the home decor place? Okay, I see what y'all doing. But the guy, he was like, you ain't gonna put that inside the vase, are you? I said, huh, what do you mean? And I said, yes, I am. And I said, I have a vision. And he was like, oh, okay, okay. And then the other guy, the other black guy, he was like, yeah, you know, them, them things like sprout out or whatever like that. And I was like, there you go. And he was just like, oh, okay. So I showed him the picture that I showed y'all how the pompous, like, you know, fall out. I don't think this pompous is going to do exactly what that one does, but I feel like it'll still be okay. Um, as well as they had some more that I showed y'all for $14. They were kind of shorter and like a little bit lighter. I can always add to the base, you know, to create more like a bigger arrangement or whatever. So yeah, that's that. But I'm gonna talk to y'all when I get back to the house because there's homeless people walking in the road. I'm it's it's a lot of traffic. It's lunch hour, lunch rush hour right now. So it's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. Like baby, she she got a plant in her hand and everything. <laughs> Woo. She said, F y'all, I'm about to make this my home. It is so hot. Hell out of my way. I have, I don't have road rage, but I got road rage. Like, if someone is taking too long to turn or something, or like, you know, get out of a spot or something like that, that irks my nerve. But like, people just, you know, I don't really just have bad road rage. But if you just going slow, and maybe we trying to keep traffic moving, yeah, that pissed me off. <sighs> I'm just stop talking, I'm just rambling at this point. I'll talk to y'all later, bye. I kid you not, my ear just popped back on if you can hear and see my hair blowing. My ear, that's the second time that my ear has came on at that exact same spot that I was just at. Like, girl, it is hot as hell. I cannot wait to get this done. I know I, know I can talk about it, but girl, if you had an air your car too, you'll be pissed off too, especially in a new car, because what's going on? It's 135, I'm back home. About to, I just ate my chocolate. We're gonna my lip gloss. Loving the summer Fridays. I will say, now that I've been using it for a little bit, this is the best filling lip gloss that I've ever had. But y'all already know I was talking about the price. It should be like $12, $15. But <laughs> it doesn't last as long. I would say, like, it's, it feels real good. It's a really, really nice lip gloss. But I have had other lip gloss from the beauty supply store that I feel like lasts longer. That could be because it's a little bit more um, like thicker consistency and like it's kind of sticky, if you will. Um, I don't really like sticky lip glosses like that. So that's why I say this formula is good. It's just it doesn't last as long as like other lip glosses that I've had like the beauty supply. That's all. But I want to hop on because why did I just realize getting out the car, I was like messing with my ears or whatever. Girl, I didn't just left the house. Got an earring in this ear, right? Why I feel this side? Baby, ain't nothing right there. <laughs> I was like, I have been out at the store with one earring in my ear? Come on now. How ridiculous of me. So, thought I lost this. Um, found it on the floor. My best friend got me these earrings from Pandora. Absolutely love. But the back of this one I lost because when I was in texas last week and i had switched the bags out and put them on like different earrings or whatever and then i guess that one had like fell off or something whatever so i am on the hunt for some more earrings um like i said these are from pandora i'm probably going to go back to pandora maybe to see if i can find some more earrings or me and Bay was just inside of kendra scott for mother's day he got his mom something from there um i was kind of like window shopping in there trying to see what they have so i may go to kendra scott and see if i could find me a really really nice good pair of earrings um i know like dealers and you know all of those places but yeah i just want some pretty earrings i've never been a stud girly like all throughout college high school all of that baby i was wearing the hoops okay the big hoops <laughs> and my best friend nikki she always wanted studs like she would wear hoop earrings too but like she loves studs and now that i'm obviously gotten a little bit older i see that yeah studs is definitely the way but i wanted to show y'all my new vase and my new pompous um i got the lights off but how stinking cute is this like this vase eats down i love that it matches perfectly with this that's why i really wish that i would have had a bigger entryway because i would have liked maybe to put you know something tall right here as well in the entryway 
Um, I was thinking of maybe putting this over there. Like I feel like that'd be a vibe, but we're not gonna do too much. <laughs> but I am gonna unpackage this outside because it already started shedding in my car a little bit. Um, so I'm gonna let it sit outside just for a sec while I finish up like some YouTube stuff. But we're gonna go ahead and set it over here. Let me prop y'all up. I got my lights off because girl, it's daytime. We don't turn on real lights during the day. So. I just had this little bean bag cushion right there for the time being, but we're gonna put this over here. Yes, I feel like that's exactly what I needed right there. Yes, that is cute. Oh my gosh, so cute. Um, still don't know what I want to put on top of this yet. Like I said. I do want a bigger TV stand. Y'all did tell me that I can like maybe buy some legs and add legs onto it. I'm gonna flip it over maybe sometime next week when I'm off and try to figure it out. But I really just wanna sell it <laughs> and get the other one from Ikea. If I feel like doing the editing, I'll pop it in. But the one, the other one from Ikea, this is from Ikea. It sits, stands about maybe this tall and then it has the three cabinets in it because this one i only have you know two storage items well two storage um drawers so that's like games and stuff and then this is just random con like just random stuff and then i would like that one to be closed as well i really don't want anything to show um i thought i did i don't <laughs> and i didn't realize how low this was because like i said i don't like that showing either so i'm really interested in getting that one for my kid just because it is i mean it's simply taller and yeah some girl that live over here, she does YouTube as well. Um, she has a floating shelf right there, but I'm like, yeah, I still don't want a floating shelf either because you will still be able to see all of those. But the floating shelf definitely looked nice when she had hers. So yeah, anyways, I absolutely love this. Too much I think. I think it makes it look really, really nice. I'm gonna go ahead and unpackage it outside and then let that sit for a little bit and then come back and show y'all how it look fully. What you doing? What you doing? <laughs> we well, can't ever go outside without this little boy out here. This right here pisses me off so bad. I'm gonna have to like zip tie this so it doesn't fall because I put a shoestring down there, but obviously the shoestring ain't working either. So I got some zip ties. I'm about to like put it really close and then I'm just gonna try to zip tie that. But I am gonna finish up my patio. I put this out here to see how it looks and if it'll, if I'll like it, I didn't finish it, but I do need to clean it cause it's been raining and stuff. So I'm gonna sweep and clean that. But I got my patio furniture put up right now. So I tried to close my blinds so you guys can see. Like I said, it's really cloudy today. It's supposed to be storming on and off. But I absolutely love this. Um, this is absolutely beautiful. <laughs> I'll probably keep playing around with it to see which way I actually, you know, really want it to lay and fall over and hang. But for the most part, these pumpkin grass was only $17. Literally so nice and they're huge and i also i really really love the base as well um it do got little scratches and stuff on it but i turned it around to the back um i feel like the base is a wonderful price for only 49.99 those being 17 dollars. so yeah i gotta fix my i was on my couch <laughs> lounging around last night so i do gotta fix my living room a little bit back up but as of right now it looks amazing. The only thing that's throwing me off in my living room is this and the stuff that I got on there. So I feel like once I get a new TV stand, my living room will be completely complete. Absolutely love. Um, just having that pompous grass, it literally makes me... Hmm. 
so having that pompous grass right there like it just looks so so good in person um i'm really making my apartment a home it feels really really nice it definitely feels more more livable i guess if you will um to really just fill up all of these you know empty spaces like that is amazing my new entryway table like everything just feels really really nice in here now don't get me wrong i still wish i had more space um like i said earlier in the vlog that was the reason for me considering moving and stuff to get more of my money's worth but since i am going to stay here i do need to you know at least make it how i really want it to really enjoy my space so i feel like empty spaces having something that's really big or tall or like bow like right in your face it really just makes it like it feel i just feel like it elevates your home so i feel like that vase and that pompous grass just elevated my apartment to the t um so yeah like i said there's still a few little things that i want to do um my living room though complete just really want to get a new tv stand my dining room area is complete um my kitchen there's nothing else to add to the kitchen because it's small it's, it's small as hell anyway so we're gonna leave that alone um the only thing that i really want to work on now is my bedroom to get that exactly how i want like pinterest perfect for me i think i may go ahead and just end this vlog here um i feel like we did a lot in this vlog so thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like this video comment and subscribe i'll be seeing y'all in the comments and everything if i don't get to reply back to all of y'all i do at least try to like heart it or you know something so thank you guys all for the support um on the road to 50k period so go ahead and subscribe if you made it this far and yeah i will see you lovelies in my next video bye guys you can get one from me let it out take it back talking shit all you do couldn't help